Hey everyone, glad to have you back at Constant Learners. In today's video, we are going to discuss the applications of database management systems. In the previous video, we explored the differences between the file systems and database management systems, as well as the benefits and drawbacks of using each. And we determined that compared to the file system, DBMS is a considerably superior solution for data storage. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it above. Please do so because every concept in the DBMS syllabus is linked with each other, right? If you've done the previous video, the concepts in the previous video, then it will be easier to understand this video. All right. Now let's begin with the applications. First application is every business, whether it's small or big, every business requires a proper database management system to maintain their customer details, the client information, the sales and finance records, the product availability, etc. If we take the example of a grocery store, a very small grocery store, they need to maintain their customer details because sometimes the grocery store provides home deliveries also, right? So every time they do not need to take the address of the customer. They can just take it once and store it somewhere so that next time the deliveries are quick and easy, right? Then client information, uh, in case of any services, a company that provides services, then in that case, they can store the client information. Then sales and finance records, if they've bought any raw materials or uh, any supplies, then in that case, they need to uh, maintain the record, then whatever they've sold, whatever profit or losses they have received, they need to maintain a record of all of that, right? So every small or big business requires a proper database management system. Second application can be banking. Banks are very important with respect to maintaining a country's economy in the best possible way, right? Thus, it is important to have a good database system to maintain the customer data as well as the staff information. Then in case of customers information, they need their personal details, their contact information, their transaction history, account status, balance, etc. And why do they need all of this to maintain smooth banking operations such as loan processing, deposits, withdrawals, fund transfers. If all the data is properly stored, then all of these operations are uh, easier and faster, right? Then there are branches of a bank in different areas, different cities, and thus it is important, it is required that proper information is maintained about the branch details, their addresses, their contact details, the respective contact person, the services they offer. This is not only required to make the functioning of a bank smooth, but also to enhance the smooth functioning of every business and every person that is connected to the bank, right? It also helps for uh, helping in case of frauds and crimes. Also today we are dealing with a world that heavily relies on internet banking, right? For performing most of its tasks. And as we discussed in the previous video, when data is stored in the database, we can access it from anywhere and at any time. Thus, it helps the customers to be able to use online banking just with proper login credentials, authentication and authorization. If all the data is stored properly in a database, then online banking becomes very smooth. Next application of database management system is the travel industry. DBMS plays a vital role in the travel industry to support various critical operations that helps in smooth functioning of airlines, trains, as well as the road transport, right? If you've ever tried to book a ticket to a particular destination online, okay, I'm talking about online, whether it is the flight tickets or um, uh, even on the IRCTC, that is Indian Railways website, or even um, the road tickets, like the bus tickets. If you've tried to book any of these tickets, you know that we just have to visit the respective website and enter the basic requirements like our personal information, then uh, the details of the journey, that is whether it's going to be a one-way journey or a two-way journey, the destination where we wish to go to, and 
it gives us all the details. If you're looking for a flight detail, it will give us the flight details, the availability of the seats. It gives us all the different flights that are available on that particular date, whether with layovers or without layovers. It gives us the transit time, the total time of our journey, right? And also the price of the tickets, right? How are they able to organize all of this data so efficiently? And most importantly, how are they able to continuously update the data to provide us with accurate, up-to-date information with the help of the data stored and managed by the database management system, right? All of these industries, whether airlines or railways or uh, the road transport, they need to store the data about different passengers, their personal information, their tickets or PNR numbers, then their check-in check baggage details, then the bookings, the seats, food preferences, extra baggages, etc. Right? They also need to store the staff details, then sales and finance information, inventories, management of the raw materials required. So they have to keep a track of a lot of things. And that is possible only with the help of a good database management system. Then the next application is the online shopping sites like Amazon or Flipkart or Nika. We've already taken the example of Amazon in the second video of the series when we discussed how databases are created, right? Online shopping sites require a highly structured database and database management system. Why? To maintain the product's catalog. The product catalog includes the description of the product, the details about the product, the prices, then different varieties of products available like colors or sizes. They also store the customer details, name of the customer, the email addresses, registered mobile number, previous purchases, then shipping details, the products added to the cart for future purchases, product recommendations or returns, right? If there's been a refund, then they should also maintain the amount available in their e-wallet, so the amount that has been returned to the credit cards, etc. Why do they need all of this? To maintain the details so that in the future, if any customer requires uh, any information or in case of fraud, in case of crime, in that case, they should have all the information, all the details about every customer as well as the shopping or the purchase of that particular customer, right? Then every order requires a proper structure, like quantity of the ordered products, the amount that needs to be paid, etc. Right? And to structure all of these tasks, a proper database management system is required. Right? The next application is universities or colleges. There are multiple aspects in using database management system in colleges or universities. We've taken this example also in the previous video while discussing the uh, file system and uh, the database management system. Now, it is required to store the staff details, both teaching as well as the non-teaching faculty, their job positions, their attendance, their salaries, etc. Right? Then they also need to store the detailed information about each student, which involves their personal data, like the addresses or guardian details or phone numbers, the courses that they have enrolled in, their performance, internal and external grades, semester results, etc. Right? It also aids in maintaining the financial records to streamline the availability of resources, that is fee structure, admissions, etc. To have a proper record about the books available in the library and for smooth functioning of issuing of the books, the return dates, which books have been issued by which student, for all of these tasks, a proper database structure is required. Okay. Then the next application is the hospitals. Hospitals are supposed to be one of the most organized organizations. Hospital staff details, Doctors, nurses, wardens, cleaners, a lot of people are involved in the smooth functioning of a hospital, right? Also, hospitals are working 24-7. So, they need to maintain a proper schedule for each staff member. Hospital has patients, the entire data has to be stored, 
very detailed personal information like their blood group, blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetic or non-diabetic, age, weight, height, medical history, treatment details, the tests performed on them, their results and a lot more needs to be stored, right? And the database is the best option to organize all of this information. Now, continuous reminders are to be sent to notify the patients of their appointments or scheduled visits, right? And inventory of medical supplies, equipments, then medicines, stock availability, etc. Also, they need to maintain the financial records, the patient's billing information, insurance details, historical payment records, and so on, right? All of this has to be stored very systematically right so very detailed structure is required which is available only with the help of database management system for smooth functioning of a hospital correct the next application is the credit card companies like all businesses credit card companies also need to maintain the customer records right including their personal details their transaction history the credit history and the payment information. They also need to store their staff details to handle the commissions efficiently because uh, you know in credit cards the more credit cards are sold by the marketing people they get more commissions. So they, they need to uh, ensure the storage of all of this information systematically. Then a proper database is required to store the uh, daily transaction details like every day multiple transactions take place right so many people have credit cards and today online businesses online payments everything is going online whether it's the electricity bill water bill or uh, taxes everything is going online right so there are multiple transactions that are happening on the daily basis right so a proper database is required to store the daily transaction details and also link it with the respective customer because there can be a table wherein all the transactions are getting stored. But which customer is making which transaction, where the transaction is happening, that needs to be linked to that particular customer, which uh, the customer details is in another table, in another location, right? Then at the end of the month, they need to send the bills to the customers. And thus, they need to maintain a record of that as well to generate the statements, right? and uh, manage the account balances and all of this is required to provide proper services to the customer to maintain a good uh, relationship with the customer and take appropriate actions in case of frauds or crimes because when you're dealing with money in that case crimes frauds are very normal so they need to have a proper functioning proper detail proper information about each and every minute things so that they can provide efficient customer service to resolve issues and provide information in case of any uh, disputes, right? And also, they need to make sure that the customer's private details are secure, right? So, a good database management system is efficient in case of the credit card companies, right? Next application is the insurance companies. Insurance companies need to maintain their customer information which includes their personal details the policy details claims etc right they also need to store the information about potential customers right whether we own a policy or not we regularly get calls or messages about investing in certain policies right that is so normal we get so frustrated why do they call because they are trying to expand their business they are trying to sell the policies and thus they need to store the information about potential customers as well. They need to track the renewals, generate policy documents. In case a customer has made claims, then there's a proper workflow to efficiently process the payment, right? And all of this needs to be stored somewhere systematically so that all the processes can be maintained efficiently. All right. The next application is telecommunications. Telecommunication companies provide network facilities to the customers. Thus, they need to store the customer details, the MSISDN numbers allocated to them. Like whenever we go to buy a new SIM card, right? The number that we get is called the MSISDN number. Our mobile number is the MSISDN number. So 
they need to store our personal details and then the MSISDN numbers that are allocated to the customers, prepaid or postpaid facilities on those numbers, then sending continuous messages, those uh, short code messages like play and win or news messages or subscribe to the uh, so and so facility or so and so services, all of those messages, all of this needs to be structured, right? Then balance availability, details of the customer from other networks to enhance the communication of the, uh, the customers with different networks. Then billing details and all of those facilities are to be stored somewhere uh, easily. So there is a vast amount of information or data that telecommunications companies need to store. And for the smooth functioning of the company, they require a good database management system, right? Next application is financial institutions. Financial institutions need to store and manage loads of data related to the customer accounts, their transactions, their historic transactions, the banking operations, their investments, the stocks or shares that they have invested in, the amount that they have paid, the prices of stocks or shares, because the stocks and shares, their prices are continuously changing, right? So they need to continuously update the changing numbers, stock counts, their prices, and also maintain real-time analytics because it is important to uh, compare the current data, current numbers with the historic data, right? So a continuous real-time analysis is also required. So they need a very advanced or very uh, systematic database management system to provide the customers with correct information. The next application is manufacturing companies. Manufacturing companies build or manufacture certain products, right? For which they require raw materials. Thus, they need to track the availability of the raw materials, then maintain the supply chain of final products. They store the data about their clients, their customers, the raw materials, suppliers and staff. They also need to maintain the bills and inventories, financial details, profits or losses, etc. And for all of this, a proper database structure is required. The next application is the HR department. The HR department needs to store the details about the employees working in a particular company. They store their personal details and information along with their job positions, their salaries, their permit details, if you're working abroad, then they require their permit details, the dates of their contract renewals, their perks, etc. Why do they need to maintain all of this data? So that in the future, no employee should claim something that was not promised to them while uh, they were getting into the contract, right? So all of this information must be stored very systematically and thus it requires a good database management system. And the next application is marketing companies. Marketing companies need to store the data about their clients and the services that their clients provide. They also need to store the customer information so that they can market the proper product to the proper customer, right? They need to create a proper marketing schedule, store information about prospective clients or customers, etc. All right. So we are going to discuss only these applications of database management system. These are just very few applications that we have discussed here. If you look closely, every small business as well as every huge organization requires a proper database management system to maintain and organize the data neatly and for disciplined and smooth functioning of their organizations. Now, before we end this video, think of some more prominent applications of DBMS and please write them in the comment section below. That was all for this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and please subscribe to the channel if you think my videos can be useful. Thank you so much for watching.